Everybody's got that one like catchy pop song or that one like kitty movie they like that they're kind of like, you know, it's like a guilty pleasure. I'm really f***ing with the Cars fandom right now. Lightning McQueen is my guy. Ever since day one, back in 2006, when he crossed the finish line, Lightning McQueen has been my guy. Now they brought him back for the sequel we deserve. We don't talk about Cars 2, all right? That was the money grab. But Cars 3 is everything I love. I feel like I got like a personal stake in the story. So I'm just gonna talk about the greatness of Cars 3 and why Lightning McQueen's fandom, and Cruiser Ramirez as well, is just so pure and joyous to my heart. He's got his boys with him and he's running around, man. He's got he's got a team now. He's like, he's just a grateful guy. And then one by one, they start getting picked off by the new generation, man. Jackson Storm, this guy that's stronger, faster. He's racing by numbers and crunching. And it makes sense because last time, you know, Lightning's been racing since like 2006. It's a whole new generation of like bigger, stronger cars now. And Lightning's like, nah, man, I'm not trying to give up for that. No, nah, so he ain't gonna take me out. I decide when I retire. He ain't gonna be joking on my age. My man was doing it. He was doing it for the racing culture, doing it for Doc Hudson, his mentor. But then what happened? What happened? Like, he blew his knee out. My man blew his knee out, son. I was crying in theaters for this, man. This is real thug tears. I watched this on the plane. Like months later, I was still crying. My man, my man Derek Rose himself. He Derek Rose his own knee just for the culture. Then he did that, that slow motion flip. That slow motion, that slow motion crash. Like, yo, lightning about to get up right now. Lightning, and he did the tongue. He looked like a tumbleweed out there. Dun, 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 dun. What? My heart. My heart. It's the same thing that happened to Doc Hudson, that horrible crash that took him out racing. And then the next time we see Lightning, he's all in primer looking at himself like, yo, what am I gonna do now? What can I do now, man? It's all, it's all f***ed up now, yeah? It's all f***ed up now, man! What am I supposed to do now, huh? That's all Lightning wants. He just wants to race one more time. He wants to go out when he is able to decide when it's time for him to quit. Get a new sponsor, and they're talking about, man, you're gonna hurt the brain. He's like, nah, let me get back to that real sh Let me get back to that racing that I do, son. Gets a new trainer, Cruz Ramirez. Cruz isn't a racer. She decided to race one time, but she didn't cut it. She gave up her own chance. And Lightning now realizes, yo, I can't do what I did before, man. I gotta do something new. Then he finds the teacher that taught Doc, Smokey. Then he goes back to Thomasville, man. You get to see the track that his mentor was on? You get to see the, the great, the fabulous Hudson Hornet? What? What? Cars 3 is all about that baton pass. It's about that legacy. And then Lightning's there seeing like, yo, Doc was like this. Yo, Doc was rocking like this, man. And then he always feared that, yo, Doc didn't get to decide when he was gonna retire. They took him out the game and we know it broke him. And then he meets Smokey and Smokey was Doc's mentor, his, uh, his friend. And he's like, you think, wait, wait, you think racing was all Doc cared about? Then he shows him the freaking, shows him Doc's bar and like, yo, I ain't speak to Doc in 50 years. The crash broke his body, broke his spirit, but you, you revived him. Look at all this, yo. Look at all this, yo. He's proud of you. Lightning, lightning's posters on the wall. Lightning and lightning and Doc pictures of them, of them together doing races, man. Like, yo, you were the greatest thing that happened in his life. Oh my God. Oh my God, what? Tears again. Tears again. Doc Hudson lives on through lightning. So what's lightning do? What's Lightning do? Gets back into that training. Learns how to, he learns all the shortcuts he needs to do because he's older now. And now he knows how to do this to get better. Lightning gets trained in all the ways he needs to incorporate now in order to go back and do what the f he needs to do. He learns stories about freaking Doc. One time Doc was getting pinned up against a wall, but Doc never touched the wall unless he wanted to. My man flipped off the wall and over a car and won the race. He's trying to get that greatness that Doc had. He goes through the same training, you know? They're running routes on moonshine, lights off, but something else is happening as well. He's noticing Cruz Ramirez, and even though she never considers herself a racer, she tried to one time, but she backed out the race. He's seeing how he's seeing himself in her now, and then she's like starting. She has the same hunger, the same determination as him. He's like, yo, she she got that sh man. She 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 got that sh yo. He goes back to the starting track for the new race, whatever. Starts it off, and then realizes like, nah, you know what? You need to finish this. He brings Cruz Ramirez in to finish the race that he started. He gives up his own spot for Cruz Ramirez. You might be like, well, isn't that kind of up? Because don't you need to finish the race that you start? As long as someone's wearing a number, it's all good. We don't talk about we don't talk about plot holes. We don't talk about plot holes, all right? We just we just go with it. Cruz Ramirez finally gets her shot to be a racer, thanks to Lightning McQueen, and she does the same freaking flip off the wall move that Doc Hudson did. She's the second coming, the best about Cars 3, it's all about legacy. 
Doc Hudson lives on through now Cruz Ramirez and also through Lightning. Cruz Ramirez gets his number. Lightning changes himself to the fabulous Lightning McQueen. Gets the motherfucking sleek navy blue new coat of paint. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I love. And then he realizes like, yeah, you know, racing is good and all, but being a mentor to someone else, seeing myself in someone else and helping them achieve their dreams, that's what that shit is. He becomes Cruz Ramirez's crew chief. He becomes a crew chief for Cruz Ramirez. It's, ah, it all comes full circle. It all comes full circle. Cars 3 is that realness. That's all I'm trying to say, man. That's all I'm trying to say.